Hey guys, Doug here again with another dowel carving video. Uh, dowel carving, you say? Yes, we did the lighthouse, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to continue the series and uh, make a bunch of them in the in the coming months here and there. But uh, hardware store dowel is what we're carving. The idea is to make it accessible for absolutely everybody and uh, easy little carves. Now today's uh, carving is we've done an owl before, but I've simplified our. Uh, Aloe video, and uh, I've made these cute little, I can't hold them all, cute little uh, owls sitting on a stump. Now, oh my goodness, I can't, come on, stand up, stand up and show off. Anyway, that's what we're going to carve, these little simplified little owls, and they all stand on a little stump. Stump size doesn't matter, but uh, yeah, hardware store dowel, and of course you can use a stick. And of course, you can take a one by one uh, piece of basswood and knock the corners off it. But uh, hardware store dowel, probably popular. Let's go. When I carve small things, I prefer to do a double length so I have something to hold on to. But this one didn't quite work out, but that's okay. I marked that three inches, but you'll see it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, just a little bit longer to hang on to. But what we're going to do is, if that's uh, three inches, that's totally irrelevant to the carving because an inch and a half which is about 38 mil is our bird so that's the bottom of our bird and the bottom of our bird beak is three quarter which is about 19 mil now that is the bottom of the beak and that is all the measurements we're doing okay so whether that bottom piece is an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter or you know an inch or whatever it is it doesn't matter because that's just the base well, all we're concerned about is the bird, so I'm going to draw a line around at an inch and a half. All right. And then uh, what we're going to do here is, to the best of our ability, let's draw that three-quarter round. I think I'm going to, uh, I look at the grain on this, I can see the grain is going this way. So I think I'm going to uh, go with the grain somewhat. And this is just a guess here. I'm going to quarter that, uh, quarter that dowel, all right? It doesn't matter either way, but uh, anyway, we'll bring those lines down. It's just nice to have these lines to, to guide our, uh, our carving so we know that for, we compare side to side, okay? So that is the bottom of our nose. Now, I also want to uh, save the real estate right here. Okay, this little bit here, this can be the feet, so you'll see in the as we go. But I got my trusty old Helvey inch and three quarter, and all I'm gonna do is uh, go in the bottom of the beak, it's gonna carve up. Just want to uh, create a little bit of depth here, and the same with the bottom of the feet. I'm just gonna take a little notch out of there, I can get too carried away. Alright. Alright. What I should have done right off the bat was at the inch and a half mark. Let's just run our knife right around that pencil line that we marked at an inch and a half. Just to make a little stop cut. That one just kinda of come in the front, we're just going to take a little bit, just a little bit down. But on the sides, we're going to go from just below the beak here and let's take a fair bit off of there. We want to see maybe a few mil, eighth of an inch or so. So, yeah. same on this side. Make sure they they match somewhat. Like I said, we've already done an owl, but I kind of simplify this one even more, and uh, it's fun. It's a fun little owl. All right, that's the front and sides. 
Now let's go to the back. Same thing, we go a little bit deeper again. Good, healthy eighth of an inch or so. All right. So now we can see that our, uh, our owl is separate from that uh, bottom. All right. Now, we, could, we drew that line there for a reason. We're just going to come up here about halfway and we're going to we're going to bring that in. Angle it right over till we hit that line. Yeah. Now let's just kind of blend it all together. Anywhere that we don't have a, uh, a saw cut on the halfway back, let's put a saw cut a knife cut let's just take a cut so that the if we paint it all paints the same smooth out any any lines that we may have you'll find that uh, if you when you do the bombs like that quite often if you go across then you'll see all the same same cuts so i'm going to mix them up a bit Okay, basically, that is the back of our owl. All right. So. Okay, now, if that's the bottom of our, our beak here, we're gonna come up and, uh, what would you say that is? What would you say that is? I would say that is a good, healthy quarter inch. All right, what we do here is a bit of a upside down looking beak. Very, uh, very penguinish, all right? But don't worry about that right now. We're just going to uh, cut in the shelf above. Right. Same time from the center line. We're gonna come down a bit of an angle. You see that? And we want to go just a little bit deeper than however we cut below. All right. Let me take that off there. All right. Okay. And we want to go a little bit deeper because I'm going to uh, come straight down with my knife here. Straight down with my knife here. We're going to pop that off, and we do want to leave a little bit of that shelf left. I think we'll still probably go a little bit deeper. But popping that off of there. All right. There we go. So we'll just a hair, hair deeper, and then we'll stop. All right. All right. Now, from the top of this little... Maybe we'll hear. We're going to do that again. We're going to go back. We're going to catch that upper line. All right. Now we maintained a little bit of a top on here. This is the fun part. From the center line to the corner, I want to kind of just roll my knife. See that? I'm just rolling that knife up the center. Up the center to the end. All right. On top, same thing. If I get in a, a pickle, if I, I find if I slide my knife a little bit, I can do that too. 
if my knife is too rigid, a little bit of sliding action. That's all we're gonna do. Front and back, look at that, we just gave him little little horns on a, a little fella. All right, so. <laughs> that last video I did had a big tractor come by too. Anyway, we're going to stop right there, all right? Let's look at our beak for a minute here. Let's go take an angle off of that one side. Take an angle off the other side. All right. at the bottom. Alright. Let me clean it up a little bit. There we go. That's where we are. Boy, that beak looks funny. Don't make your beak like me. Make it, make it, uh, make it proper. There we go. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. Now, looking it over, rounding it all over. We want a nice flow around there. All right. These little horny, whatever you want to call them. I like to, uh, I'll show you one here. See the side there? I like to, uh, just come down. 45. This kind of gives it a little bit of character, accentuates the, uh, what's up, see that? Look at it, make sure they both look the same. Not bad. Not bad. Alright. I'm gonna come back, get that bit of an angle on the top. There we go. There, finally that looks better. Okay. Around this, like so. All right, let's grab my pencil here. It's nice that I have one to show here. This little line right there. So not quite the bottom of the beak. Just a hair up from the beak. We're gonna go around, and we're gonna come across, and we're only gonna go just past the ear. In the past, I've gone all the way around, but I kind of like this way better. So now I'm just going to take that. Let's make a little, make a little V cut. All right. Basically taking out that, that pencil line. I hope this is bright enough. The other morning it was too bright. Now it's evening. It's a little bit shady here, but I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. Just kind of blending that up softly. All right. Anytime we can, if we can get a little three-quarter chip to give a little shadow, we should do that. See that? I'll do the side of the beak here, just sticking my knife straight in. 
straight in and pop out the little chip. Okay, starting to look like an owl. Trying to figure out why that one side didn't look the same. I think that, that one's a little bit deeper. Now, we're going to give this fella some wings. So I'm just going to uh, remember the foot here. So, I'm just going to kind of give it a little, a little wing like that. Just look at both sides, make sure they look the same. Same on the back side, basically from that cut. Yeah. We have a V tool. You can use your V tool. See that? I've got a V tool right here, but uh, I guess I'm not going to use it. <laughs> Slide around this way. Just the stop on the bottom and the top. And just slice her out. There we go. Two wings. Same thing here. Remember those three quarter cuts? If we can pop that chip out of there, give some more, create more shadow, we should do that. And then soften those hard edges. Now we're gonna bring the feet over too. All right, do the back wings. Exact same thing. Just gonna bring my knife in. Put a little stop cut on the bottom. Bring her back this way. Right. Cut her in. Stop cutting the bottom. Bring her down. Alright, that's the back. Time for the eyes. We're just going to uh, do a simple little, little circle here. All right. I'm just gonna put my knife in there, run it around, and guess what I'm gonna do? A little stop cut here. <laughs> I'm gonna chip down. Stop cut here. Bring that chip down, cut up to it. That's it. You can see from my eyes, all I did was black dots in there. Did I do that all? No, maybe I colored. I colored this one and then put dots on it, but they're all pretty. What a quirky looking one, eh? Yeah. I think this one's my favorite. Anyway, that's neither here nor there right now. I noticed right now that I, I skipped a little little V cut that I like to do right there. Where did I put that? Just an extra little detail, De detail. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? A little extra detail that you can or you don't have to do. But all right. 
Now I will admit that the uh, these poplar dowels are a little bit, uh, they're not basswood, a little bit stringier. But that's okay. Okay, let's look at the feet here. All I'm going to do with the feet, let's, let's put a center line on here. Just going to bring that a bit of an angle. Like so, same other side, like so. I'm going to put a little chip on the center. Pop that out. All right. And right here, we'll do a little, a little V cut. All right. Yeah. And then we're just going to uh, make some claws. Again, if you had a V tool, you could use a V tool. Just use my knife. Nothing drastic. Just a couple little V cuts. Huh. Another one. There's something about simple carvings. I know people don't really care to watch my uh, more complicated carvings, but uh, I'm still going to do them. But uh, I know that uh, these beginner, beginner friendly carvings really boost people's uh, confidence in carving. So, all right. So what are we gonna do now? We say, looks like an owl. I think that uh, I'm gonna put a nice shiny cut all around top of the log, log, fence post, whatever you want, garbage can, I don't care, make it whatever you want, but. okay, now before I, oops, before I continue, I'm going to run, I'm going to cut this one off, and then we'll, uh, we'll finish it, all right? All right, so we got them all cut off. So I'm just gonna do the bottom, same thing. Take, cut the edge off it, all the way around. All right. Now we can take a, we can take a V tool if we want, create some texture. All right. Like so, all right. We can take a, we can even take a little gouge, put some gouge marks in it. If you paint it and dry brush it, it'll end up looking, looking like a tree. All right. Now I started, I might as well finish it. A couple of big V cuts. Sometimes you run past, sometimes you run down the bottom. All right, let's mix it up. Some gouge marks. But you get the idea, All right? So there you go. Now, Something that we've never ever done before is with the, 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 this uh, fuzziness on here. I'm not opposed to taking a little piece of sandpaper and just kind of running around. Don't don't uh, don't try and sand facets off or anything, but just to, to help you out a little bit. Even some of this synthetic stuff is nice. Just might catch. Right. Let's pretend.
time we painted two eyeballs on here. All right. Let's give her a little spray. People always say, why do you spray? Well, because Gene Messer always sprayed. And I learned it from him, but it just highlights all the the shadows and whatnot. And uh, it makes it look like a carving. So, there is our simple little owl. And of course, I think one thing I didn't do is separate the little v-cut up to the separate the beak if for nothing else it gives a nice paint line to separate All right. but take your time you're not making a video you can uh, get creative and have fun with it I think this was a fun, fun little carve, and it's amazing what we can do with a little piece of store-bought dowel, and there's going to be more. We're going to come up with some more of these things because I think it's a fun idea, makes it accessible to everybody, and uh, no one can say that they can't get good basswood or whatever. Mind you, like I said, it's not basswood. It is a little bit harder to carve. But uh, the price is right, and it only takes uh, a few more cuts to do the same job. All right. So, there you go. Hope you like it, and uh, we'll be back again with uh, another carving. But uh, I'll add him to the pile, and uh, I'll catch you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.